morning, y'all. It's an early start. I'm on the road today. We're talking Kevin Nah. It seems like everyone wants to talk about Kevin Nah's tapping. Let's have a chat. 100 yards in. Turn right. Let me just get a coffee first. Come on, calm down. I need a coffee. Oh, it's freezing out there. Absolutely blooming freezing. Yesterday's question talking about golf grip. Lots of you have thought about changing your grip and moved your grip around. Some success, some people stuck. People are stuck with their grip is often like I say in the videos when I do grip ones, is you can't just change the grip, it's the grip and something else nine times out of ten. Because as soon as you change the grip, you're gonna change the face orientation. So if you don't put something else in there to sort that out, then you actually hit it worse. You become less functional for lots of people, not always the case. So today's question. Post your comments down below as always. Hit the subscribe button if you don't already. Hit the thumbs up on daily vlogs. Also, if you do enjoy the daily uploads, do you think that the ongoing chat about slow play is really negative for golf as an image, or do you think it helps try and move it along and deal with an issue that's putting people off golf or not? Post your comments down below. I'll continue to maybe discuss this a bit further through the video. But post your comments now. Pause the video down there. Let me know what you think. First point for me, and this is the thing that upsets me maybe the most, it's the anger and the venom built on frustration of watching someone who is obviously struggling, thank you, internal life problems that the player probably does have, and then seeing that anger and venom from the watching public come out onto them, I just think it's such a shame, such a shame because there's so many questions that I can't answer and when I put it out on social to see if they have the answer to help me get an understanding of the situation of the foot putt that he took over a minute to, to hold. I couldn't get answers. No one really had the answers. So how much break was on that putt? I have no idea. Was it uphill or downhill? I have no idea. Has he missed one of those putts in the last few weeks in practice, in an event? I don't know, and people just weren't able to kind of meant, uh, answer these questions. So, if you don't know all these things, it's hard to have such an aggressive opinion about someone who's trying to win a PGA Tour event, a pretty big PGA Tour event. So, the anger and the hate built around some of the, well, lots of the non-facts or not knowing the situation really at all, or understanding the situation, I just think is real, kind of real shame for golf and it kind of reflects what people are like so quick to make a decision and when it's one built around kind of you know such an emotive idea in slow play I don't know often when I've had slow play chats online it just resorts to emotional based individual cases that someone's experienced like which are not reflective of what is going on day in day out they're isolated cases and then this like hate pours out and it can get quite aggressive and i think it's a real shame now, at no point am i saying to take that long for that length of putt what anyone thinks is right for golf but there's more to play here there's more at play here to make just some aggressive decisions towards it because you know at face value it's far too long for a putt that in theory you should just tap in but he obviously didn't feel like he could tap it in. So unless the rules change, I mean, he, he, he's gonna play to win. So that's what he thinks makes him win. He'd be mad not to do it if he's not breaking any rules, wouldn't he? Right, meeting's done, time to head home. It's absolutely freezing today. So cold. Right, my next point is What's interesting is why, why constantly push and promote golf as this sport that, I mean, it's a sport that struggles with its perception in the public as being dull and boring and not that engaging for people. So why are we constantly, or why are the media outlets happy to broadcast something 
that is probably going to do what it did, have the results it did, give such a negative feeling towards the sport. There's no way you're telling me there isn't another person who was hitting a shot at that time. And think about golf coverage, as I understand it, and I'm happy to be wrong if you want to post comments down below, if you know better about the production and what have you of this, but there are always pre-recorded, like they flip to shots that aren't live, you know, because two people are in shots at the same time, so they record one, but they stay with the live action, which is nah hitting his putt. Why not cut or play that five second recorded, 10 second recorded clip and come back to nah tapping it in? Why stay with him having this personal struggle? It just, because look, people make TV shows to try and sell them to other companies in the world who want to buy the rights or to the watchers to buy their packages for Sky, to buy a Sky package. So why show something that's so negative towards the game and has such a negative response? And they'll be called, will not be answering that. I just think it's a shame to not have a better, more grown up conversation about what was going on and the implications just think about it. I mean, was he being held up? Was he waiting on the next tee? Was he holding groups up behind? I asked this question on social as well. People didn't seem to really have an answer. Didn't know if he was waiting on the next tee. There's so many other aspects here. And I'm not saying he should take longer so he doesn't have to wait on the next tee, but that suggests that there are other people out there going as slow. They're just not doing it in a visual, all in one minute way to then get attacked by people in quite a sorry way. Yeah, I mean, golf is a great game. It's an amazing sport with amazing amounts of permutations and things that can happen. Which is why I love playing it and love being involved with it. Why paint it to be so boring in a broadcast which is trying to sell a product at the end of the day to its viewers is baffling. I literally don't get that. Morning y'all. Right, we're gonna finish this vlog off on the next day because I was very tired yesterday. It was a lot of driving. Let's not forget, Kevin Nars like number 60 in the world at the moment around there. He's been inside the top 50. He's had strong results in majors. He's had four professional wins, one on the PGA Tour. Kevin Nars a world-class golfer. And the rules at the minute are allowing him to compete as a world-class golfer. If they change, then yeah, you know, he'll have to adapt, which I'm sure he will. He's a skilled athlete. Celebrating how good he is as a golfer would be so much more positive for golf than just going after these isolated cases. Now look, I am not saying Kevin Nair is quick, because he's not. And I'm not saying that how slow he plays is good for golf. I'm not saying that. That's a different discussion and a much more complex one. The actual effects that these players have on people taking up the game. But it's up to the rules to govern their players and it's up to us as the viewing public to just try and show a little bit of reason, just a little bit, when making such aggressive decisions about people's profession. Again, I know this will be quite emotive. Post comments down below, let me know what you think. I mean, for me, the takeaway from this is basically, it feels like people are frustrated that when they're sat in their slippers on their telly and they want to watch something they want to watch, if someone comes on that bores them, that makes them angry. And I get that. Totally understand that. So why show it? You could edit that out. Or you could have a positive chat about it. Make it an interesting, open dialogue about the issues with slow play and the misconceptions around slow play and try and get some of that aggression out. Our game is brilliant. It saddens me to see it just portrayed on the global stage in such a negative way. Come on, golf is great. Let's just, let's just keep enjoying it. it. The sun's out, it's freezing out there. Um, and I would happily go and play today with my family, with my friends. And if someone took a bit long, I'd ask them to be a bit quicker or I'd just enjoy their company, you know? We're not on the PGA Tour.